gut-wrenching scenes on Melbourne's streets as neo-Nazis bring their hateful rhetoric to the steps of the state parliament. I was absolutely sick into the stomach and disgusted. Uh, it's clear that uh, the modern face of Hitler is alive and well here in Victoria. We just don't want to see this kind of behaviour in a safe and multicultural and welcoming Victorian community. While clearly offensive, it's not currently illegal to perform a Nazi salute. The Victorian government has promised to ban its use, while a Senate inquiry is also looking into new laws to ban the display of Nazi symbols nationally. Some want even stronger action. I call on the state government to examine the possibility of outlawing any group that promotes, celebrates and glorifies the ideology of Nazism. If we list them as a terrorist organisation, we drive them underground and turn them into terrorists. So we turn them from idiots into serious actors. The public display of the Nazi swastika has been outlawed in a number of states and territories. But Nazi memorabilia continues to be available for sale on local websites. Uh, this is a very lucrative trade. Uh, we are seeing many auctions, both online but also physically, and it's happening across the nation. The federal government has labelled yesterday's rally unspeakably un-Australian. But while questions remain over how enforceable any new laws could be, experts warn there's no time to waste. The um, challenge is how to manage this so it becomes a minor irritant rather than a genuine threat to society, whether in terms of, of people being targeted for vilification and, and threatened or um, uh, protest and counter-protest escalating. <laughs> There is no timeline on when any changes to legislation will be introduced. Sasha Payne, ABC News, Melbourne.